What is a shell? It's a desktop environment. Before they had the graphical user interface, then you would have had a terminal program. And it would have looked, it would have looked something like this here. And there are certain commands you can type. LS minus L is one of my favorites. It lists a bunch of files there. And um, <clears throat> there are different types of shells available. Bash is the shell that we'll be using. It's otherwise known as the born again shell. There's the corn shell, KSH, and the CSH is the C shell. And dash, which I uh, don't believe I've ever used that one. Anyway, they're all very similar. They all have slightly different commands, and that's what makes them different. Uh, if you don't know what version you're using, you can, in this case, I'm using bash, and I've got bash dash dash version, and that will tell me what version I have. Um, there are lots of commands the way these work. Uh, I did ls minus l just a second ago, but here's an example of a command and the minus C uh, pipeline more. Sometimes you can have two commands at once. This would be a little additional parameter. So you have the command, the additional parameter. But in this case, there's a pipeline and the word more. More is actually another program. We'll talk more about that. If you don't know the uh, particular command, you don't know how it works, you can type man and the name of that command. That man stands for manual. Now there are lots of things I can look for. Uname minus A tells me what version I've got. Um, the uh, lab release right here can give you some information about the distribution. Uh, now in this case, uh, what I'm doing in the, in the last three here is cat, C-A-T, which is in effect display the contents of that file. So there's lots of things I can do there if I wanted to. Um, <clears throat> When we get around to writing programs, we're going to begin the, begin the programs with a hashtag and then an exclamation point. Though that together is called a shebang, slash bin, slash bash, just to make sure that we're using the correct shell, because that is our default shell, but in case other times you, you might be on a system that doesn't have that. When assigning variables, no space is allowed before or after the equal sign. Also, zero means true, non-zero means false. Someday when we're exiting programs, that may come in handy to, to just try to remember that. When it gets around to executing the shell script, we need to have the plus X. Okay, now I mentioned here change mode 744 is program name. 7 would mean read, write, and execute. 4 and 4 is read only, read only. So that won't actually execute it unless I add the plus X in this example. If I did 755, it would have made it executable. And remember that because the current directory is not included in the path, I actually, if I'm in that program or in that directory that contains a program, I have to put a dot slash. Dot slash refers to the current program. If I wanted to ignore that security risk, I could add path equals dollar sign path colon and then period because that would mean add to the, the path that you're searching add the current directory now there are a lot of useful commands echoing uh, for instance the shell the home the path the user and the OS type we can see how that works as an example so if I did echo which just means print to the screen dollar sign shell it tells me I'm in the using bash if I did echo dollar sign home it says I'm in a, a folder called Frank that's beneath the home directory all the users have a, a directory beneath the home directory and in fact I can see that by doing ls minus l which means <clears throat> give me a listing of the long version but dot dot slash actually means give me of the parent directory I happen to be in the home Frank directory and the parent directory says there's actually two users on this system one called Frank and one called F Yonker if I wanted to echo the path that says if I try to execute a program and it's not I have to look in this path. Is it in the user local S bin? Is it in the user local bin or user S bin? And so on. That's the path that it's going to check looking for the file. 
Let me try echo dollar sign user. So I happen to be Frank. Echo dollar sign O S type. So it's a Linux GNU. And what if I did echo dollar sign user, but I did lowercase? Doesn't know that. See, it's blank because these are all case sensitive. Linux knows the difference between uppercase and lowercase letters, and it assumes you know that. Now, let's see my bash history. I did cat, which catalogs are listed as screen. Dot means it's a hidden file, but I know it's there. So dot bash underscore history. The pipeline says, wait a minute, before you run this, send all the output to this other program called more, which basically says, give me a screenful at a time. So that's one of the things that we'll see in these uh, bash commands is that you can actually pipeline one command to another.